Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page or a sales page using Canva Website Builder. Now, this is the same strategy that I use in making over $10,000 every single month selling out this product that I mentioned in this video. And I'm going to be leaving the link in the description just in case you haven't seen the video yet. So if you're looking to sell out your product or you want to start a dropshipping business and you want to learn how to create your own sales page. Now, this video is specially for you. And all you need to do is to come a little closer and let's dive in. So to get started, fire up your Canva and click on websites. And then you're going to see a lot of options here. Just go ahead and click on create blank. All right, so once it opens, the next thing you're going to do is to search for templates. But unfortunately, there is no template for a sales page or a landing page on Canva. So you are going to be building from scratch. Now, this tutorial is for any product. You can use the same format for any product that you wish to sell. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a sales page for sure SM7B. But not to worry, I'm going to be leaving the link to the template after the design so that you can have it and use it for your projects and enjoy it. But all you need to do is to copy it and then customize it to your taste, change the color, change the write-up. And of course, if you're not selling that particular product, you'll go ahead and change the product. But I'll be walking you through how to do it all right here. So what we're going to do next is to select a random template and then customize the templates to fit our sales page, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and then you see apply all six pages. So now we have all the six pages applied and the next thing I'm going to do is to start customizing the template to fit our sales page page and then the first thing i need to do right here is to give it a very good heading because your heading is what people are going to see first so you need to create an outstanding heading so that once someone visits your sales page the person will be hooked and be forced to buy from you that is a strategy so we're going to be doing that now so i'm going to change it to sure smb podcast mic and that's not all we're going to also edit this one to the price of the mic here is the original price is selling for 400 dollars, and we're selling ours for 280 dollars. and we need to put cancel here so we're going to go to elements and search for cancel then click on graphics and choose anyone that best fits what we're trying to achieve so i think this is good we're going to be using this change the position and bring it forward okay like so and resize it way down so this is the old price and now it's selling for $280 and no longer $400. How awesome is that? And then the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to put in buy now. So we're going to change this now to buy now. And you want to make this very big. You want to make this very big like so. So we increase the size. Yes. So that is more visible to everyone. Okay. So now we have this buy now. And then we're also going to change this to don't miss this offer. Don't miss this offer. Show SM7B podcast mic for $280 and not $400 buy now. And then the second page is where you're going to probably highlight the specs of the mic or look for a code that has to do with show SM7B. So we're going to come over here and type in quotes for show SM7V so that we can get a quote that we're going to be replacing that text there. So we get our quote from here and come over and paste it like so. So we're going to make this one bold, bold and italics, bold and italics. Okay, like so. So we'll have our quotes here. So this picture, this background picture, we're going to be changing it to someone that is popular, that is using the microphone. There's a lot of people that are using the microphone so you can get your pictures from Google. So I've already uploaded a couple of pictures just to make this video faster. So I'm going to go over to my uploads and drag and drop pictures from my uploads. So let's use, all right, let's use MKB. Okay, let's go drag it here. Bring down the transparency all the way down like so. So we're going to bring this one down like this. So the next page, we are going to delete this page. Do we need this page? No, we don't need this page. So we're going to go ahead and delete this page. We don't need something like this. Here, we are going to use this page as it is, but we're going to be making it two pictures for one page so that we'll have the pictures very bold. So the next thing I'm going to do is to change this right up to all these people can be wrong, right? I think this is good as it is. So we're going to just delete this, right? And then we're going to highlight this on group and delete this here. So we're going to highlight the two pictures 
and make them bold put them in the center make them as bold as they can get yes that's more like it and then we're going to get the pictures of popular people that are using the microphone and slamming it here so let's bring in joe rogan and let's bring in gary v so if you want to change the position of the picture all we have to do is to double click on the picture and then move the picture to the right like so you can even drag it a little bit and it's good to go like so so we are going to change it to black and white just the same way we had that design so we click on adjust and then you scroll down to saturation and you reduce the saturation and if it doesn't look too good you can increase touch up a little bit touch up the vibrance and touch up the shadows reduce the shadows a little bit and then increase the blacks yes this is good as it is so you click out and then you click into the Joe Rogan tone and do the same thing for Joe Rogan. So it's amazing. It's perfect. And then we're going to be duplicating this page. So all we need to do to duplicate this page is to click on here to duplicate the page and add more pictures. So now we have it here. But you're not going to, it's going to be a continuation because when you're viewing it on a normal device, it's supposed to be, you know, a continuation of the pictures. Okay. So you don't need this right up here. You don't need this head in here so we're going to change this picture and do the same thing here and now we have all the pictures all lined out and if we want to look at what we have done so far you click on preview and of course our major traffic is going to be coming from mobile so we're going to be previewing it on mobile so we're going to click on mobile and we're going to have it like so so all we need to do is to scroll down this is good all these people can't be wrong so you see what i'm talking about so it's a continuation so it's not supposed to have a heading again so you can see all these people are using the shaw sm7b and is highlighted here all these people can't be wrong and then the next thing that is going to come here is the call to action the ultimate call to action and that is what we're going to be doing for this page and to do that the first thing we need to do is to delete this two here Okay, delete these two here and bring this one to the center first. We're still going to edit it, but first let's change the background picture and all we need to do is to just drag and drop. So now that we have the background, it's time to put our ultimate call to action. And to do that, we need to delete this and turn this one to buy now and make it very bold. And then we're going to change this right up. So now we have this offer of a lifetime buy now for just $280 and it's only six stocks remaining now these six stocks remaining will create a sense of urgency so anybody that says oh six stocks i don't want to miss out so they want to purchase it as fast as possible and you can even make them even purchase more maybe they wanted to just buy one but because they're seeing six stocks available and then they don't know if the next time they want to buy it if it's going to be available at the same price so they want to buy as much as they can now they are seeing six stocks available so this is what this will do for you so that is why i had to add it here so now we have an offer of a lifetime buy now for just $280 right so we we'll have the ultimate call to action page settled and then we're going to move over to the next page and we're going to be using this for our countdown timer just to let them know that if you don't buy this within this period of time you're going to miss out on this offer this is, this works like magic all the time so we're going to go over to elements and type in timer so here we'll click on countdown timer and then click on videos. So, and here you see 30 minutes, you see five minutes, you see nine seconds, you see 10 seconds. So we're going to be using 30 minutes for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to just drag and drop it here. Like so, just that easy, right? So we're going to change this to buy now. All right, so we're going to put this buy now. So now we have the buy now, we have the video and we have the write up here. And then we have this indication, don't miss this opportunity to own a short sm7b and now you're going to indicate something about this timer so that they know and understand what the timer means or what the timer stands for and why the timer is here so they know that the timer is for them so what we're going to do now is let's delete this one and change this one to offer ends in 30 minutes <laughs> offer ends in 30 minutes so we're going to make it loud bold and with a shout offer ends in 30 minutes <laughs> so that anybody that is seeing it will want to jump on it immediately so that they will not miss out on it right so here we're going to delete this and we're also going to delete this and we're going to turn this to buy now but before then let's change this background to white because white 
actually stands out best. So we we'll click on white, this button here, we're going to turn it to black. Here as well, the border, you're going to turn it to black. And as you can see, it's very tiny. So we're going to make it as bold as possible. Okay, border weight, we're going to make it as bold as possible. So it's okay as it is. And then we're going to change the right up to buy now. All right, so now we have this button here. And then the next thing we're going to do is to bring in the picture of the SM7B here. So we're going to go over to uploads and bring in the picture like so. We're going to drag it under here so that people will actually see the picture of what they're going to buy now. <laughs> and then this one, we're going to change the color to maybe red. Yeah, let's try it red and see how it's going to look. So we try it to red. And we're going to change this one to white. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the social media icons here. We don't need them. So, but you can leave it if you want to, but I don't, I don't need it personally, right? Now this is perfect as it is. Then here you're going to make sure that you put it in the center so that everything will look amazing amazing guys so now we have this by now don't miss this opportunity to own a short sm7b and then let's change let's let's turn things a little bit um, around let's change this by now to animated by now so i'm going to go ahead and delete this all right i'm going to go ahead and delete this right now and go over to elements and search for buy now all right so that will make it a little more dramatic right so we're going to click on graphics okay graphics and look for buy now that is animated and we're going to go ahead and use that so we can choose to use this here so let's go ahead and use this one so now next thing we're going to do is to just resize this to fit in here so here we have it and we're going to change this color to be the same color that we have here so we're going to be changing it to red right red and white yeah like so so and we're going to change the arrow to red as well yes so we can have the colors cohesive right so now we're done with this page and we can come over here and look for any other part that we missed out on so we're just going to scroll up all the way up and then we can change this by now as well and change it to something more dramatic <laughs> okay so let's change it to this yeah, this is perfect. Make it a little smaller like so. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to check how it looks. So we're going to go over to preview to see how it actually looks. Let's, let's, let's look at it. Make sure it doesn't have any navigation here. So it's just a one straight page, okay? So now this is how the design looks. And from the looks of things, you can see that it looks amazing. Although this one, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And if you scroll down, you can see every other of our designs standing out. And you can see this one stands out and this one is amazing as well. Offer ends in 30 minutes. How amazing is that? Now, just in case you're interested in selling this product, in the previous video, I talked about contacting the seller. Now, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions on how to contact the seller. You don't necessarily need to contact the seller. So all you need to do is to promote the product just like we have created this sales page. And once someone places an order, you go over to AliExpress and purchase the product. You don't even need to contact the seller for any reason because all you need to do is to put in your customer's delivery address. Once you put in your customer's delivery address, the seller is going to deliver the product directly to your customer. And all the deliveries that I've gotten from AliExpress, none of them comes with AliExpress indication. So you're not going to see an AliExpress indication anywhere here. So you're not going to see any of that here. So it comes with just the shipper name, number, address, and all that, but it doesn't come with AliExpress here. So the person wouldn't know that it's coming from AliExpress. So that is how we do dropshipping from AliExpress. It's very easy. You don't need to contact the seller for any reason whatsoever. So now that we're done with the sales page, the next thing you're going to do is to click on publish website to publish the website. So once you click on publish website, 
you come over here and put in the details you click on use my existing domain and then follow the prompt if you don't know how to do this i've done a tutorial on how to connect your domain name to your canva website and i will leave the link in the description just follow the instructions in the video and you will get it right it's not difficult and is something that you can do very very fast so go ahead and click the videos i'll leave all the links to the videos in the description and then i promise that i'm going to be giving you the link to this template so that you can use it for your business and customize customize it anyhow you want. I'm going to be dropping the link in our Telegram channel. If you're not part of the Telegram channel, please do well to find the link in the description as well and join the Telegram channel because on the Telegram channel, I share informations and videos and tutorials on things that I cannot share on YouTube because of YouTube guidelines. And I also share a lot of freebies there. So you want to be part of that community. So go ahead and join our Telegram channel and also find the link to this template so that I can use it and enjoy it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to put in the purchase links here so that once anybody click on this buy now or any of the buy now, it's going to automatically take them to the purchase page where they're going to pay for the product and then get it shipped to them automatically. And instead of wasting time going over it again, I've done a tutorial on this, how to design an e-commerce store using Canva Website Builder. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description and I'll also leave it here. So go watch it after watching this video so that I can understand in depth on how to achieve that as well as getting to know how to publish your website. In case you have not watched that video, it's very important that you watch the video so that you can learn how to publish your website. In fact, I'm going to be leaving it here. Go here and watch it right now. I'm going to be leaving the playlists, okay? So go ahead and watch it and thank me later. See you on the other side.